everyone happy easter monday it is still technically easter here by the time you guys see this it'll have been easter a few days ago but today i am going to end the easter celebrations end the extra long weekend that we have had here by organizing what i'm going to now coin an m and m night so i've just finished the day wrapping up a whole bunch of things that needed to be done before work tomorrow so i've cleaned my car i've packed away the easter trees I've done a whole bunch of cleaning with the ducks, etc. And tonight, my family and I want to watch that new movie. Some of you may have heard about it. I think it's called Irish Wish or An Irish Wish, something like that. Wish, wish, dish, dish. I don't know. But my family and I are going to watch that tonight anyway, all together. And then to accompany it, we are going to have manoush for dinner. So Middle Eastern pizzas. My grandmother, my Irish granny, as you will have seen in previous vlogs, has developed an obsession with it. So going to be doing that tonight but before we do that i have a few things i want to unbox with you now technically speaking these are already unboxed so i don't know why i said unboxing but i want to show you guys a few things in last week's vlog you saw me getting surprised by my friend with my belated birthday present so i thought i'd show you properly it's a big black baggy jumper talk about alliteration essentially it's a jumper that has some of my if you like branding on it so on the front i always use this this caption or this phrase for myself which reads australian made from imported ingredients i love that because it's such a representation of the fact that i'm made in australia but my parents are from abroad and then on the back anyone that's bought my book will have seen that this minus my logo is on the front of my my book recovery through poetry so the teacup and then inside my my friend by the way i don't know if i mentioned my friend embroidered this himself so he didn't get someone to make it he did it himself he's so talented and in the center, he embroidered my Celtic Arab logo. So I love this so much. And on that note, I wanted to ask you guys in terms of my book. For anyone that doesn't know, this is my book that I published in December last year and officially launched to the world in January this year. It's called Recovery Through Poetry. And it's basically a collection of poems that I've written over the last several years about my journey through child abuse and the things that I learned in essentially recovery. If anyone would like to support my book, I'll pop the link in the description box down below. And for anyone that has already read this, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Back to the un unboxing. These were in this bag. Don't ask me how he fit them. Several weeks ago, I think it was maybe three weeks ago now, um, my, my friend Ismail that I caught up with the other night got me these Udis. He brought them with him when we caught up for dinner and about three weeks ago, it must have been, I asked him because he actually works at the company that sells these to get these for me because he got a work discount. Long story short, not only were these already on sale to begin with, but he also gets an extra discount for being an employee. So he got these for me, no word of a lie, for $15 each. These are Udi's. So I don't know, I'm pretty sure hoodies are a thing all over the world, but for anyone that doesn't know, they're oversized hoodies. And in the winter time, these are like blanket jumpers. They are amazing. They're so beautiful to wear. When I saw this in the shopping center, I was in love immediately because it's green and it's Harry Potter themed. And we are in autumn in Australia at the moment and heading into winter. So I knew, I knew I was going to end up getting it as much as I kept trying to tell myself that I didn't need another Udi. So when I rang my friend, Ismail is his name, by the way, I think, I think I said that. He, um, he went to check and he went to check for me if they had it and he goes not only did i get them for 15 dollars he ended up getting a second one because they were 15 dollars now gray is probably my least favorite color i'm just going to preface with that however i love this this i actually am surprised that i like it as much as i do because like i said i love all colors gray is the only one that i tend to have a little bit of a, a love-hate relationship with i love it for pajamas it's probably about it but i do love this so for 30 dollars in total i got two very nice quality hoodies that are harry potter themed so i am very happy especially because when you consider the fact that these were originally i think they were selling them for like 75 dollars or actually maybe more 
Yeah, and I got two for 30, so I'm very happy. Brilliant. Right, now, before I head off to get Manoush, Granny's lovely outfit. I love the pastel vibes in the shirt. She's wearing a tri-colored tri? No, it's like a qu... A qu I don't even know what you'd say, like a five-colored striped shirt. It's very nice. White pants, some cream sandals, and bless, bless my cotton socks. How did you get a necklace to match perfectly with your shirt? <laughs> I have it years and I keep forgetting to wear it. It looks great. Look at all the colors. Oh my yeah. gosh. And the ear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's got multicolored striped earrings to match as well. And of course, these match your necklace. White as well to yeah, match. Yeah. Brilliant. Lovely. And you match the new tablecloth put on today too, Granny. <laughs> oh, I do too. <laughs> I didn't show you guys what I'm wearing either, but it's nothing too eventful. So I'm wearing actually these sneakers I bought about nine years ago. And if my memory serves me correct, they are the first pair of sneakers I ever bought when I ran away from home and came here. So it's just a pair of tights that speaking of Aldi, I know I recently spoke about Aldi for the steel that I got with those car mats in the last vlog I uploaded. I also am pretty sure that maybe seven years ago, roughly speaking, I bought these tights in Aldi. They're very thin, so it's nice for weather like this. I'm sure you can tell that it's like, again, 30 degrees here today. With a really long, um, both sides actually, long cotton top, which I love. It makes wearing tights feels that much more comfortable. Some silver accessories with me pearls. And that's it for... For today's look, very casual because I've just been at home and I'm only just going out briefly to get manoush. All right, let's go get the manoush. The smell is driving me crazy. I almost don't want to go home. I like wait to go home and eat it. But how nice she said to me when we were leaving that she gave us some, oh, some gifts. So in here, a two blueberry what yeah blueberry muffin that's so nice she didn't have to and then i'm assuming that other the other bag is the same hang on yeah she gave us four blueberry muffins i don't think i can eat them because i think inside would be a lot of upfs <laughs> there's probably vegetable oil in there and a whole bunch of things that's okay but that is such a wonderful thought and my family will appreciate that so much so manoush is all bought ready to go home and have dinner with my family i'm just going to quickly pop into the shops i need to buy so much food for the ducks they eat peas like you would not believe um, and I need to buy some moisturizer and then I can go. We've had our manoush. Now it's time to watch the movie. I'm going to do some sewing while we watch. Is it called Irish Wish or the Wish Irish? Wait, wait, the Irish Wish or an Irish Wish? I don't know what it's called. Anyway, I've got my tea and my, my dad's very disappointed. <laughs> what it's called? Is it the Irish Wish or an Irish? Or, uh... I don't know. Anyway, we're watching a movie. Guys, <laughs> good night. Have you been drinking? Yes, tea. There you go. The I no, it's not even that. It's just Irish wish. Okay, anyway, there we go. Clarification. Good morning, everyone. Looks like I have missed a beautiful sunrise today. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, everyone. These ducks gave me the biggest fright last night, and I'll tell you about it. All of it in a second. Oh my goodness, guys! Last night was an absolute nightmare. The ducks gave me the biggest scare. So essentially, I brought them in last night as I always do when it gets dark because they're still young and it's too cold outside. Plus, they haven't got their coop yet and, you know, foxes and snakes, etc. Anyway, I brought them in and I noticed, especially one of them in particular, started to look as though it was struggling to walk. Anyway, I went upstairs and I spoke to my granddad who was a farmer his whole life. And he basically got concerned immediately and said to me, that's a really bad sign. Usually that means that there is a bit of a developmental issue. He said more than that, but long story short, that was, that was the conversation. I went downstairs, I called Musa and straight away we started Googling. And we got such a fright because according to Google, this is such a common thing when ducks don't have a certain amount of vitamin B in their diet, which I did not know. 
So I am currently on the way to the shops right now because I need to go get them. I think it's called um, nicin Nicinamon. I need to get them this yeast product that has a lot of niacinamide in it. And I need to give that to them ASAP. Apparently it's it's the, the cure for d ducks with, with um, weak legs. Oh my gosh, I can't explain to you all the fear that riddled my body last night. I broke down so much. I have never cried over a duck, a bird, or anything like this in my life. I was so devastated. One, because I, I really felt helpless for them. I didn't know in the immediacy of the situation what I could do. But two, I felt like a bad duck bum. I felt so guilty. I was just like, oh my God, I have, I have not been good to you guys. If anything, God forbid, were to happen to them, I would be devastated. Anyway, I'm going to go get this yeast and I'll keep an eye on them. And fingers crossed, they make a really quick recovery and they start running around again and get their strength in their legs back. I don't know why I'm going to cry, but I'm getting so emotional because they don't have it, even though it was on their website. But all I can find are these brewer yeast cookies and apparently brewery yeast is what you're meant to give the ducks when they have this issue but I can't find it anywhere. So I think I just panic bought a lot. Um, I was googling re researching while I was in there because they didn't have the exact product I needed. So apparently sunflower seeds is a really good source of nutrients for them. I also got them store-bought duck feed. Can you hear them in the background? I think they're hungry. Um, <clears throat> They didn't have brewer's yeast, so I got brewer's yeast cookies and uh, nutritional yeast, which according to the ingredients in the back, has all the stuff that, that I was looking for in the brewer's yeast anyway. And then apparently they love berries and they love sliced grapes. So I really hope that these guys feel better by the end of the day. Do you want some dry yeast? Is that nice? No? Okay, mate, see what I mean? See how it's not walking perfectly? Oh, okay. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to mix this with something because they're not eating it straight. What about if I mixed in a raspberry? Would you eat that? Yeah? No? Yes, no? Think you like it? Usually if you like something, you'll devour it a lot faster than that. Oh, come on. All right, so not the biggest fan of raspberries? You might be, but clearly not you. <laughs> All right, grapes. Oh, we like, oh, you're like your mom. You like grapes more than, than, than raspberries. Now let's try this duck feed. I really hope this works. Whoop, there we go, balance it out. Okay, how about some duck feed? Ooh, is that yummy? Would you like some? I'm oh, sorry, buddy. Would you like some? Oh, very good. Oh, my heart, thank God for that. Oh, good job. Oh, yay. All right, I'm going to mix the yeast in with this. Beautiful. Oh, you little guys. So, let's mix in some duck feed. Oops, that's probably too much. And overfeeding them is probably not a good idea when they're struggling with their legs. Okay. And I'm going to mix some yeast on top of that. And that should be good. I'm just going to mix it all in. And hopefully this does the trick. Maybe I should put some grapes in there too. I don't know. Guys! Time for some bird seeds, a duck seeds, or duck feed, I should say. Come on, would you like some of your food? Yay! <laughs> oh, thank goodness, my little guys. Yummy, enjoy my babies. And finally, I've just sprinkled some of the sunflower seeds in the strawberry bed because I know they like to just go if you like forage through some of the the ground so I've just sprinkled some of that along my dying strawberry bed this is years old these strawberry plants and so they need to be replaced anyway so that's all right 
and hopefully they can go and spend some time in there picking up a few seeds. I just gave them like a tiny amount of everything. So like a couple of straw, uh, grapes, one raspberry broken up and um, a pinch of yeast and then a handful of that duck feed. And so hopefully they should be much better or rather I should say hopefully they get much better. But look, is it just me or do they not look more white today than ever? They look exceptionally white in comparison to normal. I've just come in to ask Grandad if I can borrow this makeshift ramp for the, the ducks, but look what I have found. Grandad is busy making them a DIY coop, which is really nice. So I'm excited to see what this looks like when it finishes. Thanks, Grandad. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Keep it away from your clothes, though. Yeah, yeah, all good. Thank you. You're welcome. The beauty of living on a farm, there are so many like recyclable materials lying around the place. If they end up using this, I'll have to sandpaper it back and maybe lacquer it or something because first of all, it's got oil on it from whatever the reason. And so that's already not going to look the best, but looks aside, I want it to be waterproof for them if they're going to keep using it. So hopefully they can use it as a little ramp to get out of the strawberry bed. Come on. Yeah, yay! <laughs> all right, ducks are all settled. I've brought them inside because it's raining here today. And I think up until 10 weeks, ducklings aren't meant to be left out in the rain without shelter. And there isn't sufficient shelter in the greenhouse. So they're in the garage. They seem to be doing pretty good for today. Thank goodness for that. I am currently on my way to the beautician. I'm getting my lashes lifted. So my natural lashes are quite straight. Um, and so every three months, you can only do it every three months, I believe, I get my lashes lifted, so curled. Essentially, if you like, it's a perm, but for my lashes. So I put a photo here of the before and after. I am talking funny. I have my retainer in. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But I'll show you guys what it looks like before and after. I honestly recommend, especially if you're like me and you've got straight lashes, or if you're also like me and you don't like false lashes, be it lash extensions or the strips, I can't stand either of them. I don't like the way they feel or the way that they look on me. So I am on my way to this. And then after that, I've got to do my, my own groceries. This morning I did the duck groceries. I've got to do my own grocery run for the week and then I'm heading to the doctor. So I'll keep you guys updated and I'll see you after all that. <clears throat> do you ever feel like you go to the doctor for one problem and you walk out feeling like now you have five? This year, I told myself that all my little problems, be them internal health, mental health, I was going to address them. I was going to get my self feeling as healthy as possible. So I've been talking to you guys about going back to the psych and um, going to the gynecologist recently, getting the MRI and all of that stuff. And then today I've just finished my groceries. I've been sitting there waiting, thinking, yep, I'm on top of everything. We're good. I go have my doctor's appointment for this little niggling pain at my um, top of my legs, where if I'm seated for too long, when I stand up, it feels like I've got a little bit of a muscle pain. Anyway, I went to speak to the doctor about it and to get my mental health plan so I can go to the psychologist. Turns out I can't do both in one visit. Apparently I need to book two separate visits. So I have to go back to the doctor tomorrow. But now she says to me, oh, that sounds like arthritis. I'm 32! What? So now I have to go get an x-ray and an ultrasound to just make sure that there is no um, arthritis developing or anything like that, God forbid. I really just thought it was like a muscle strain that I'd done some damage to the muscle because I wasn't stretching properly. I have no idea. But anyway, now she's telling me that she thinks it sounds like arthritis. Please tell me it's not arthritis. Anyway, anyway, I'm not going to think the worst because I have a tendency to do that. I'm going to go home, check the ducks, focus on my life and go to work. All right, I made them a very nice and warm bath full of their favorite leaves that they love to eat. And now they're going for a little bit of a swim. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, sorry, we still don't have a big enough pool for them. Um, so granddad, you can probably hear he's using the, the saw in the background. He's building them something as we speak, but yeah, we just don't have anything. So I decided to fill this up 
because this I don't think is deep enough and now we're going for a little bit of a swim look at this oh my heart you guys are adorable just put some <laughs> I just put some sunflower seeds in there and they were nibbling away oh this makes my heart so warm oh babies <laughs> did you guys enjoy that now oh actually i've just realized i think i promised you guys no more duck content for today i'm so sorry <laughs> look at them i've never seen them that wet since they were like maybe a week old because the thing is in in this pond here they they can't actually get in that deep anymore so I think I'm going to have to get a move on with their their other pond, but for now I can give them a, a bucket bath every day, I think, so that's all right. <laughs> Don't go into the strawberry bed when you're all wet. Look at you guys. Green Tuesday, and you know what? Even though the Easter tree is gone and you were matching it the other day, now you match the new tablecloth, which actually, no, I think I said you match the tablecloth. I don't know, I've lost my mind. I do like see. Yeah, anyway, I like the green. Nice pair of white jeans, some cream sandals. And let's have a look at the jewelry. We've got your beautiful Christmas present. With you, I don't think I've seen these lately. Very nice. And green studs and pearls, white. Very nice. I love the green and white. Green goes very nice with white, actually. Yeah. This vlog is probably the biggest chaotic mess at the moment. I haven't even shown you guys the after of my eyelashes. I'll try and do that very quickly because I have students in 12 minutes. Anyway, this is my outfit. I just never even showed you before I left. I just ran out the door between the ducks and then the doctor. Today has been, oh, sorry, and now I've just whacked the, the camera. Today has been a chaotic mess to say the least. Anyway, I'm wearing a nude cardigan, nude flats with my navy tank top and navy pants with some rose gold jewelry today. And these are like these pinkish colored uh, faux pearls. They um, they look like the si a similar color to my, my cardigan. So I thought they went nice. Anyway, same hair scarf as usual when I'm wearing navy. I look like I've been in a science experiment. What? <laughs> what is all this? I seriously have like 10 minutes, but this is the after result. I'll put that, that photo back up to show you the, the comparison between before and after. But honestly, look at that. It is amazing, the difference. Now, the lighting is probably terrible, so maybe I'll show you tomorrow when I'm outside doing my morning walk. But honestly, they're amazing that, how they're able to just all of a sudden look like you had no lashes before. And yet now... Like you have lashes and this lighting is making me look like i am quite ill anyway i need to go to work good morning everyone i am happy to report that they are doing a little little bit better i have just put together a warm bath for them put in some of their favorite leaves and now it is time for these munchkins to have a bath yeah you the saying like ducks to water is so true for a reason like they love it so much yeah <laughs> look at you guys swim oh my heart the other one i think is standing but listen look at your bottom mister or missus i don't know yet what you are but you need to clean that bottom <laughs> i've just finished bathing the the ducks and I'm cleaning the garden and look what I spy in the background. I think Grandad is bringing over his DIY chicken coop. I mean duck coop. Sorry, we were meant to get chickens. I think I spy that in the trailer. <laughs> well, do I spy a duck coop? Is that... <laughs> Is that a special delivery for the ducks? Yes, <laughs> How exciting! Oh, that looks great! Thank you! You're welcome. It does, especially for a DIY. I love it. So, Grandad is going to try, and if he can't, he'll have to remove the gates to bring in the coop over the duck house. Well, the duck quarters, I should say and see if he can lower it in this way rather than having to uh, take the fence down, which looks like it's going to work. Oh yeah! Brilliant! Oh, they're gonna... 
That's all right. can see it is now set it's not permanently in its spot because we still need to build a roof over this place but there they have their own little coop how amazing and granddad's going to get them some grass now to put inside so they can nest oh i'm so happy for them time to try your new coop come on <laughs> look at how pretty and white you look go have a look go have a look no, this way, this way, this way. Go have a look in your new home. Yeah. Do you like it? <laughs> Can nestle in. I know how much you love to nest in grass. Maybe. They're only four weeks now. No, I think they need another little bit yet, maybe. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Thanks, Grandad. You're welcome. <laughs> Cuties. And give the birds some feed. I've just given them, I know it doesn't look it, but I have just given them some fresh water. The green on the outside makes the water look rather green. And it's so nice that right in the middle of the garden, between the bird feeds, the greenhouse, and the rest of the, the pot plants over here, we have the ducks. Remember how I was trying on these pants the other day? Well, Granny was able to do something with them, and now she's back in action, Barbie style. She's got her pink tank top, which matches perfectly with her pants, some sandals, and let's see the, the moment I have been waiting to show you all. Look at this hair clip. I love it, especially because it's like flowers. And we have, I have never seen these before. These look very nice and they match very well. Oh, and we've got the pink nails to match. Lovely! Looking great, Granny! I believe we may have a guest. I don't know how much you guys can tell, but we have a frog sleeping inside my lavender pot. Happy Wednesday, everyone! I don't even think I've said that today. There's been so much happening, and actually, as a consequence, I didn't even end up going to the doctor's appointment I had to book in for again today, which subsequently meant I didn't even go to my psychologist's appointment later in the day either. I'll explain. There's so much to catch you, go catch you guys up on. First of all, I have been flat out. I've been so busy at the amount of different places I need to be in every single day. It's just too much. So this morning, I decided first of all to sleep in. When I say sleeping, normally I get up at 6.30 every day. Today I was like, that's it, I'm going to get an extra hour. I actually didn't end up getting out of bed until 8 o'clock, which on a work day, I'm sure many of you can relate, is an absolute joy and privilege and rarity all at the same time. So that's that's the first thing. So I just decided I needed a break. I needed to spend more time at home doing all these things that I've needed to, to work on, which lucky I did, because as you've seen, I've spent time helping my granddad this morning, getting the duck house slowly but surely ready. So I've postponed those the doctor and psychologist until next week. So that I'll catch you all up on then. Now, the rest of the things that I had to catch you up on. Yesterday, when I went shopping, I got a couple of things that I haven't shown you yet. Also, I'll show you in a minute. Also, I didn't end up vlogging anything when I caught up with my friends last night. So apologies for that. But you know when you haven't seen people in a while and you kind of just switch off from technology and you just get built up uh, not built up what's the what's the correct uh when you kind of get invested i suppose or you know really deep into a conversation you forget about everything else so apologies for that but there wasn't really much to vlog other than the fact that we caught up and had dinner and chit chat anyway i also never told you guys either from the movie the other night the the irish wish that that was really nice it's not you know 
a groundbreaking uh, piece of cinema. However, it was really nice. And if you want to watch something to do with Ireland or a little bit of a, a comedic slash romance type film, that was really nice. So, so before I forget to tell you about that again, that was a really nice movie. It was an enjoyable watch. Now, apologies also for all the duck content, but as you can see, that's pretty much what's consumed my life lately. Anyway, I'm happy to report that they are a little bit better. They are showing very small signs of improvement, but improvement nonetheless. And they are currently in their coop having a grand old time. Now, if you remember, actually, I'll put a photo here. I've been wearing these black jeans and blue jeans, mum jeans, and I have fallen in love with them so much so that I'm even tempted to wear them when I'm working because they just look and feel that good. And you guys know I don't like wearing jeans for work. I try to keep jeans as a, a weekend vibe. Anyway, they are amazing. And before Kmart, which is where I got them from, stop selling them, I decided yesterday when I was there because they are only, look at this, $25! I decided to get another pair in khaki and in white and I can't wait to create some outfits with these because I know especially green of course I got something in green I know I'm going to love the outfits that they put that I put together with these so I got those pants and then I also got this is something I have been on the search for for a long time I also got a white collared shirt now I didn't want one of those like thin business material shirts I don't really know what you would call it like like hmm i don't know like a cotton and polyester blend although that's probably what this is to be honest i i, I don't know i wanted a hundred percent cotton i think this is a hundred oh it is it is a hundred percent cotton not that you can see that but it does say here a hundred percent cotton so anyway i wanted one that felt and looked more like cheesecloth i think that's more what you might call this anyway this is what i have been looking for unfortunately they only had baggy sizes. And now I do love me some baggy clothes, but I'm not, not with this. Anyway, it was $18. And prior to Kmart, I had looked in a few other places. No word of a lie. The cheapest one I saw was $50 in H&M. And then one that I did like was $80 in just jeans. I just, I just can't justify that. So I, especially when I've been buying so, so much clothes lately, primarily because I'm trying to update and elevate my wardrobe. I'm trying that, that whole modern classic aesthetic. And I really love it. It brings me a lot of happiness, especially when I'm dressing more professionally for work. But $80 is a lot of money for a shirt. Anyway, so I got myself one of these. And remember that vest I got a couple of weeks ago? This is one of the main reasons why I wanted a white collared shirt. Because it is such a great basic for layering items. So this vest, I knew when I got it that I wouldn't be wearing it until I got a white collared shirt. Now I do have that one I showed you in a couple vlogs ago, how it was really long. But that's a different look altogether. I need one that's this cut. So I can't wait to wear this and it will probably go really nicely with my new um, khaki. Oh, maybe that's a bit too much. Is that a bit much? Whoops, what am I doing? Oh, no, not really. Or maybe the white ones, I'm not sure. But it'll look nice, especially with work outfits and things like that. Now that we're in autumn and we're heading into cooler temperatures. So I'm very happy with this $18 top. And then lastly, what was in this bag, but I have put it in the wash and gotten it ready to dry and pack away, is a big blanket. Now, on every one of my bedspreads, when I put a doona cover down, a blanket, I also have one of these thin blankets that go underneath because in Australia, sometimes even at nighttime, it can be too warm for a doona. So I like to match, actually, I'll show you. I like to have some sort of blanket that matches the color palette, not necessarily the color itself, but the palette with whatever blanket I'm putting down. So at the moment I have this blanket and I feel like that looks nice underneath it. I feel like they complement each other. And no matter what blanket I have on, so Duna, the thick one, I always have a thin one underneath. And so yesterday I got a green one. I've wanted a green one for so long and Kmart have finally brought these out. I've been buying these blankets for years. So I can't wait to show you guys when I put one of these green ones. Um, no, 
when I put this green one with one of my Duna sets. And I'm wearing the same outfit as yesterday, second time for this outfit this week. And actually, I think I'm falling in love with navy, to be honest. But I have some exciting news, actually. Musa is coming back tomorrow. So he's been gone for about six days and I'll need to go to bed super early tonight because I am picking him up at 5 a.m. That's what time the bus arrives back where I dropped him off last week. And I also have this weekend, by the way, another poetry performance. So that might not be in this vlog. It will probably be in next week's vlog. But anyway, I need to go to work. I need to lesson plan and do all of that. And I probably won't be filming again until I see you guys tomorrow on the way to pick up Musa. But then again, I usually say that and then I end up vlogging anyway. But doesn't matter. <laughs> Time to go to work. What is this behavior? <laughs> Excuse me? No! You know the drill, this means sleep. Earth? <laughs> Good night. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. It is time to go and pick up Musa. It is 4.40 in the morning and he is meant to arrive at a quarter past five. So I should get there around five and I just want to be there a little bit early in case they arrive a little bit early. So, oh, how exciting. Let's go. Right, five past five and Musa is obviously not here yet. He should be here in about 10 minutes, but I'm very excited. I know I've already said that. I'm going to stop saying that I'm excited, but I am very excited. Anyway, it's five after five in the morning and I am very aware that someone's going to say, you have way too much energy for this time in the morning. But anyway, it's a good day. Why not be excited? Okay, I'm going to stop being loud. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm just going to sit here. It is a little bit cold. It is 19 degrees, but, but it is a little bit cold considering I, about half an hour ago I was in bed or more than, but still, anyway, we wait. I think I spy them. Oh, there they are. Not that first bus. The second. Oh, no. Okay, no, I think I'm a little too excited. Wait, three buses. Is it this fourth one at the back? You look a little different. No, okay. Four buses. None of them. Five buses, another one coming now. Never mind. I'm a bit too excited. Oh, I think they're here. No, that's a truck. Never mind. Okay, don't worry. The lights confuse me. If one more bus gets my hopes up and has me thinking that that or that is my boyfriend, I'm going to have a conniption. It has arrived in the background there. I didn't get, like of all the videos I was catching of buses, there you go, you see it in the background there. I, it says Sydney on the front, so I know that that is his. I took so many videos of buses and the one time, there it is, arrived. I am, um, I, I missed it on camera. Anyway, all good. He's here. Sydney. All right, well, so where are you? It's coming, it's coming, it's coming! He doesn't really like being on camera and that's totally fine. But he's a home! Okay, I'm sorry that was really loud, but he's home. He's home. He's home. He's home! Hello. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Back home and these guys just did not want me to catch them this morning. They're getting such at such an to let me start again. They're getting to become no, let's try again. They are becoming, or I was going to say, they're getting to an age where <laughs> apparently it's still too early for me to English, where they absolutely are defiant when it comes to being picked up. But the thing is, until we build their pond, they have to be picked up and put in here them, like for them to have a swim. When they have their pond, obviously they can enter that one themselves. But like I go to the effort of getting them a warm bath because it's freezing and they're still only four weeks old. And they just don't want to get picked up. But they, when I put them in, look, they love it. My goodness. <laughs> and I love you guys. You absolute cuties. I have another blackberry from the garden yesterday to put in my breakfast this morning. The poppy seeds just makes it look so much more fancy or messy, depending upon what you think. Granddad always has something lying around. I was looking for a big pot to replace my mulberry tree with. I'll show you guys. But this is, what is this anyway? What was this for? It's an old barrel. What was it for? It's just a, an old drum. 
an oil drum. Well, Grandad's going to cut a quarter of this off to make it suitable for me to repot my plant. This is the plant. Now see how massive this is. I got this and it was so tiny. And look how small that pot is. It's clearly in need of a, of a bigger pot. Now by rights, it should be in the, the ground, but my entire garden, except for the greenhouse is potted so that when I move out of home, I, God only knows when that will be. I can take my garden with me. It's been an investment and I want to, to, to take it with me. So hopefully that new pot will be suitable for this. Lunchtime, I have some charred chicken, which I love with some rice and beans. Like I've mentioned before, I always have beans with every meal for the most part because I'm so low on iron and a side salad. I love this dish. I start work in 10 minutes, but there was no way I was missing showing you my new favorite work outfit. Unfortunately, the only thing I have that this matches with was or is rather a pair of jeans but this is that 18 dollar white collared shirt i got in kmart the other day i showed you yesterday oh it is a little bit big i told you guys it was two sizes too big they didn't have my size but it works it's not really that bad actually it only looks worse because of the vest trying to taper it in with the vest kind of shows all the the wrinkles but it's okay for 18 dollars, it's working also i don't have time because i have to go to work but this kind of needs to be ironed out flat so you can embrace the neckline of the vest and the white shirt but every time I pull see every time I pull my my shirt down this wants to close up and I don't really like it like that but that's okay paired everything with some rose gold accessories my navy flats that need to be replaced navy hair scarf because I'm wearing my navy jeans and this is probably a look that I am going to like the most out of this entire month happy Friday everyone I am very happy that it is almost the weekend as soon as I finish work today and I am not so happy to report that there is a rain bomb scheduled for Sydney today so that's great for my garden to some extent but not so great for the ducks so it looks like we're going to have a little bit of a, a shitty day in terms of their um, not a, in terms of the day but in terms of their uh, rear ends because they'll have to be kept in the garage which means they'll have um, the garage to use as a toilet anyway first world problems as long as they're doing all right that's all that matters i'm going to start the day with a quick morning prayer accompanied by a couple of pages of reading and then time to get on with what will hopefully be a wonderful Friday. behind me there's a bit of a lake developing in the background because there is that much rain here in Sydney at the moment but that's not all oh, Jesus that's not stopping me from going for a walk <laughs> like a child in puddles oh Jesus there's way too much puddles down there oh well that's all right oh there's a bird taking shelter inside the shed see how much rain is outside it literally looks like there's a river bank out there and this little guy or girl is just seeking some refuge inside. Uh, yeah, I'm talking to you. You can stay here. It's all right. You probably can't see it, but I'm sure you can hear it. It is absolutely pouring. And at the moment, I am so anxious because my grandparents, I should talk to you, my grandparents are heading off to Dubbo today. They're heading inland to inland Australia for a zoo experience. So it's an open land zoo. I don't think that's how you word it, but essentially what it is, is a zoo where there are no fences. Um, there are ditches in the ground in order to keep a barrier, but you can drive around the zoo and get up close and personal with the animals. So I would have liked to have gone, but I have work. And now when it was planned i didn't have ducks but now i do have ducks so i couldn't have gone anyway because they are still ducklings but i am so nervous about my grandparents being caught out in this weather today but in other news my acne it has calmed down a lot although it hasn't gone away also in other news again you can probably see in this lighting better in a video rather than just a photo how my lashes turned out these are my natural lashes, but because they are so naturally straight, 
when I get them lifted, all of a sudden it just looks so much more pronounced. Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated on this acne situation. Usually when I have what I believe to be food related acne, it doesn't go away for at least two weeks, the, the results, because obviously it causes blemishes um, and sometimes worse yet, scarring on your face. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. And unfortunately, I might turn into a bit of a weather, weather reporter over the next couple of days because I'll probably be reporting and keeping you guys updated on that too. My goodness, that is a lot of birds atop the shed and the, I don't even remember what you call these. <laughs> These, um, the word has completely escaped me. They're not barrels, they're feeders, feeders, sorry. Feeders for when we used to have chickens in these sheds. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you. All right, before they head off to Dubbo, you guys are matching with your stripes actually and your blue denim. Lovely, you guys look like two sailors. Granny's wearing, <laughs> Granny's wearing a nice blue striped shirt and Granddad's wearing a black striped shirt. You look like a, a quite the, the wealthy woman this morning, Granny, with your gold and your, oh, this is nice, little pearl hanging, oops, little pearl hanging there. Oh, I like that. I've never seen that. No, Lovely, no. oh, we don't usually get to see Granny wearing her, her wedding set. Why is the camera not focusing? There we go. Gra Granny's wearing her beautiful wedding set today. Earrings, we've got a lot of pearls on. Oh, these match the necklace. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Very nice. And we're wearing, oh, we're wearing a blue scrunchie to match. Blue handbag because you're heading off. Of course, the yeah. handbag matches. All right, and Granddad, why is the camera not focusing? There we go. And Granddad's wearing a nice Australian hat for the, the Australian vibe to the zoo today. Lovely, I hope you have a wonderful trip. I hope so. Okay. Have a safe trip, enjoy. <laughs> All right, bye. Have a safe journey. I hope you enjoy. I am sorry I couldn't come with you, but I'm sure you have a grand time. <laughs> bye. Sure See. Sure dad. Hey. Granddad. I mean, Dad. For feck's sake, I'm so used to telling Granddad now. I'm saying, Dad. Enjoy. What? Don't be so bloomin' cheeky. Dad! <laughs> Who remembers what these guys looked like the first time we put them in this laundry sink? Look how much they've grown! I have to keep the, the tap covered because they tend to knock their head if I'm not if I'm not careful. So and if they're not careful, but I'll probably put a photo or, or a, a video up if I can of what they looked like about five weeks ago because I believe today they are five weeks old. What they looked like when they first got in here. You guys have grown so much. Hello, just getting ready for work. I have no idea what I've just finished showing you. It might be my grandparents leaving or the ducks something like that but i am getting ready for work i am going to be wearing that same vest outfit that i wore yesterday but i wanted to show you what the shirt looks like without the vest and actually for something that i bought as a layering piece this is such a staple i understand why for what they call capsule wardrobes. So wardrobes that consist of basic key items as foundational pieces for multiple looks. This, 100% of course must be one because it is so versatile. This in of itself could be a, a look. This is something I might wear at the weekend. I think it's a little bit too casual. I know all I did was add a vest and some closed um, flats. But it just, that little bit extra makes it feel a little bit more professional for work. I feel like this with some sandals and removing the vest automatically makes it a little bit dressed down and nice and fresh vibes for the weekend. That's just me. Um, you might disagree. That's totally fine. But I just wanted to show you. It's such a nice shirt for $18. And the quality. Huh. Love it. But I am now fully dressed for work. I've got my, whoops, my rose gold accessories back on. I love my pearl earrings. I'm wearing the actual pearls today, unlike those 
pinky faux pearls. I've got my blue evil eye necklace. Why does the camera constantly go out of focus today? Uh, on some other rose gold rings up here. And an option for this outfit I am going to trial for today is to leave the vest open. I think that vests are such an awesome transitional piece. As you can see, or here, it is still exceptionally uh, wet outside, raining a lot. But this is great for how you're going from a warm month into a cooler month and you don't necessarily need a jumper but you also can't be wearing a t-shirt either so this just adds that small amount of warmth that you want or need in your outfit anyway it's time to go work and prepare some poetry readings okay i'm in my office and i'm going to practice my poetry readings now i don't remember if i clarified that this coming weekend i have another thank god another poem poetry performance i am beyond grateful for how many people have been booking me in for poetry readings which is incredible i i am so honored and touched and humbled and grateful for how many for how, how much rather work there is out there for, for poets, especially a, a rookie like myself. So anyway, <laughs> I'll stop um, boasting and I will rehearse, whoops, I will rehearse with you. Just one of them. I have my retainer in again, sorry, but um, it needs to be in at the moment. So if I sound a bit funny, that's why. However, I'm going to rehearse. I'll read one of them with you, but I do have three that I'm performing at the weekend, which I will try my best to record for you guys and then show you in next week's vlog. Anyway, the first poem I will be reading is called Australian Made from Imported Ingredients. If you have bought my book, which I'll link in the description box down below, it is page 61 in my book. And basically, I will be, I will be reading three poems that are in and around the idea of migration and being part of the second, third generation community. So, Australian Made from Imported Ingredients. Born and raised in Sydney, whilst to my culture obedient. First out of force, like all strict parents, of course. But second out of respect, because without even knowing it taught me what to expect from music when I hear that double beat and suddenly my hips know how to move with my feet from food when I taste chicken. Knowing what lemon and garlic will thicken my appetite and taste for life. Because we have age-old stories that get us through any strife from family when we all gather around a fire. Kettle on serving tea, telling stories of what to aspire from life sharing with me the beauty of the Emerald Isle. Because those hills tell more stories than any call could ever dial. But I too love this country. It's a home away from home, to put it bluntly, immersed in the energy of a culture that is infinite. While salvaging my own for future generations persistent. That's the thing about culture everywhere. It doesn't matter where it's from. There's beauty in its air. I love this country that gave us so much. And I also love my ancestors who created so much traditions, customs, which make us feel connected. Bringing life to those past, present and future connected. There's something like, oh, no, 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 it's not connected, it's respected. Oh, i got to go back, sorry. Traditions, customs, which make us feel connected. Bringing life to those past, present and future respected. There's nothing like a community where you feel like you belong. Dancing and making music to age old folk songs. You see, my heart is split in three. First for my paternal blood, for the country that is my tree, the foundation of my roots. What helps me breathe air into my lungs and hoot the zavruta from the top of these lungs. Belly dancing my way through the nights that are young, mixing spices for recipes that tra trace back to our ancestors. And so second for my maternal blood, for my very own predecessors. Which brings me to split three. 
for the country that housed me, offering up a sun that warmed my soul, guided my mornings and helped my family enroll in that better way of life. Like so many before running away to this wildlife, I don't know what my families would have done otherwise. I'll try to never take for granted this blessing in disguise. So here's to the country that raised me, whilst affording me the chance to maintain the cultures that made me, it always was and always will be. And all together, I am so grateful, truly. I'm obviously trying to practice in the in the spirit of pretending that I'm looking up at an audience, but <laughs> but if you're wondering, and uh, there is no one in front of me, I'm just pretending that I have an audience in front of me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that poetry reading. This is why we practice anything, because I made a, a couple of mistakes in there. So I'll keep rehearsing after I finish work. But for now, I have work in 40 minutes. My students will be arriving outside that door, so I better go get a crack on with some lesson planning that I have left over. And I'll probably see you guys later this evening, if not tomorrow. Reporting to you live from the end of the school week. <laughs> it is Friday, Friday, Friday. I'm so sorry I just subjected you guys to my, my singing voice. Um, I cannot sing. That is not one of the, the many gifts that the good Lord blessed me with. However, there are many others, but singing is not one of them. Anyway. It is the end of the school week and I am also going to make it the end of this vlog. I was editing today and I realized that this vlog is already long so it needs to end here even though I was hoping to end it at the weekend. However, all good. Um, all's well that ends well. So let's end this well. I'm going to wish you all a wonderful week by the time I upload this, which is Friday now. Hopefully I can be really organized and upload it tonight then you guys will have a weekend so i want to it will be the weekend so i want to wish you guys a wonderful weekend if i don't upload it until tomorrow well then have a wonderful mid weekend i'm not really thinking correctly the weekend starts now anyway you guys get what i mean <laughs> to go i have to now go um, and finish editing this video so I, I can attempt to do what i just declared and then go clean up after the ducks um and have dinner also by the way i had to close my vest which is fine um not too long ago though but because it, it started to get a little bit cold and i needed uh, a bit more warmth anyway just thought i'd share that <laughs> all right guys have a wonderful week thank you everyone again for watching especially those of you that are watching week in and week out i am loving your comments you guys are making my whole day it is beyond touching to know that my little vlogs can have any impact at all on it on anyone so thank you for taking the time to watch and the time to comment those things and let me know and until next vlog which is looking like every roughly so far three to four days i shall see you next time much love, everyone, and God bless. Mwah.